Alright everyone, another uh, weapon review here. This will be of my oh, I can't remember what it's called. United Cutlery Bushmaster Survival Knife. With some added stuff that I've put in it myself, so uh right, it's got a nylon sheath at the end there. It's got a little tube but you can put a lace in there to tie it to your leg. It's got three different pouches like a plastic insert to keep it rigid. Right, let's go over the knife first. The blade is 10 inches and the whole knife is 15 and a quarter inches overall. Yeah. 10 inch blade. It's got like a D guard grip there, knuckle D guard grip which can be taken off if you want it off just take this off like this take that off if you want have it like a normal the blade is 440 stainless steel Right, so that's the knife, it's got a saw back. It's got this thing on the blade, I can't remember what it was for now though, I did know once. Right, that's the knife, inside, inside the handle. Right, there's a compass on the end. A little rubber O-ring, keep it watertight. And inside the handle you've got a little tube thing. It's got Morse code on there. Take these ends off. One of them is a magnifying glass. The other one doesn't actually seem to be anything. Right, so in the little tube, you get plasters. Two plasters there. That's a mini razor blade. And in the bag you get matches, fishing line, weights and hooks. That's what's in there. Okay, that's the knife. Now I'll show you the sheath. Look, there's the sheath. The sheath is nearly 16 inches overall. Three different pouches. Some of the stuff I put in here myself, some of it was already in here. Right. So you got a wire saw there. These were actually originally created for the SAS, for their survival kits. And they do work well, I don't care what anyone says. Every time I've used these, they, these work well. People will say they're rubbish. I've never snapped one. I think they work pretty good, personally. All right, so that's that. GI tin opener. Or I think some in America you call them something else, don't you? But that's a GI tin opener, that's what we call them. That's the first part. Second part, which will be completely useless to me in this country. Well, there are adders, but you're not going to likely to get bit by an adder. But is a. Not very likely to see an adder, I should say. It's a snake bite kit. Which in, it has both these ends are like suckers to suck out any uh, poison. Put them on like that and it suck it out, draw it out of your skin. And you got iodine and stuff like that and a tourniquet in there, I think. Alright, snake work here. Really good quality snare. It's even got a locking mechanism on it. Once they've been caught, it's not going to come off. Very good quality. I think they're actually legal. That kind of snare, I can't remember what they're called now. Someone can leave it in the comments if they know. 
I think they're illegal in some countries. What else have we got? A little bag of plasters, I'd put that in there. And then this last pouch. Oh, I've took the stuff out that I put in it. Um, well, there's the lace for the leg tie. Sharpening stone. And the torch they. If you look in the magazines or the catalogues or, or in the internet, it says these have a little mini torch with them. The, <coughs> the torch they gave me with this was massive. So I had to swap it for one of my own. So that's the torch that I have and the spare battery. That's what you get in the United Cutlery Bushmaster Survive Knife. Hope you like it. I highly recommend it. The only downside but you actually get this with every single survival knife there is with a hollow handle. The only downside to them are the fact that it's not a full tang blade. So if you snap the handle off, you've literally only got a piece of handle that you can use about that big. But it's either that or you can't put stuff in the handle. So But if it's good quality, I don't think they'd break. Well I think it's still worth it. But that is what people would say are the only downsides to a survival knife with a hollow handle. Hope you like it. See you later.